Hannah's first experience with golf was when she was about one year old. Uh, we bought her a set of plastic golf clubs when she was just a baby when we were living in Singapore. Yeah, she uh, tried many different activities. She started with the gymnastics and dance, all kinds of dance. She played also soccer and and actually she played the piano seriously too. I guess I actually got pretty good at piano, but wasn't really my thing, wasn't too uh, in love with it, but um, golf was a little better suited for me. The summer of her being age 12, Hana played very well through the three rounds of the, the uh, AJG Open, and she ended up winning the whole tournament, which was uh, a wonderful experience. I remember watching Sam's video when, for when he got Player of the Year. He asked his dad, you know, when will it be my time? I was not sure what to, how to answer for that. Patience is key. I mean, if you put in the hard work, I saw it's going to pay off eventually. If your time will come, let's be patient. I was very motivated. I'm always very motivated. And Two to three months after, first tournament was a Sumatra Tour professional event. The LPGA folks called me up and said, are you sure you want to give this exemption to a 16-year-old high school girl? At the time, she was 16. And I said, I am absolutely sure, and you will see why when you see her play. Winning the Symmetra event at Longbow Golf Club was, I'd say, definitely my breakout moment. And after that, another tournament, she won. And she won, and she started to win everything. To go forward into the Rolex Girls Junior Championship and play the golf that I did, and to get my first invitational win out there was very special. Don't talk about winning at home. Uh, we just say play your best, and it was very uh, impressive to see how she went about her business. So what separates Hana, I feel, from other golfers, other talented juniors, as well as professionals, is her mental strength. I mean, she has the perseverance to grind through basically any challenge. The US Women's Am was an amazing experience. Put her mom sitting on the bag, not even watching. Just watching the shot. She can really put the clamps on right here. And there it is. Having my mom on the bag was awesome, and to have her there with me every step of the way was an incredible experience to share that with her. And we try to enjoy it, really enjoy it. So the technical part is on her own. I don't know, you know, how to help the technical, I better not help her. She has this to win the 2015 title, which she does. Her game has gotten to such a high level and just to how, how well she takes it. She doesn't go around bragging. She's not exceedingly cocky around you. Like She'll be very down to earth and humble around you. It's been exciting and a privilege to be close to Hannah and her family and see this come about. Off the golf course, she definitely does put it aside. I mean, when you're talking to her, you act, we actually don't talk about golf. Like We talk about other things. So I'm sure she compartmentalizes like everything um, in her life. And when she's on the golf course, she's on the golf course. <laughs> and when she's on the golf course, it's relaxed. It's because you can't really have like 100% of that like taking up your mind. I think uh, humility is uh, something we value greatly in our family. I think to be humble is a virtue for sure. And we do believe that. and try to act in that way in our household, and our family. She's gone faster and gone through more levels quicker than I've seen other, other juniors in my experience by far, not even close. 2015 will go down as the year of Hannah O'Sullivan.